Hey again, I'm back with uh, with another uh, update on the space management game I've been working on. Um, didn't do an update last week because uh, I was stuck in a bit of a design rut. And uh, I think I kind of worked through those issues um, with my AI engine and, and some of the uh, actual broader game design questions. And so this week I do have some new stuff to show. Um, the most important thing I would say is the addition of the research system. Uh, so I've been looking for a way to kind of expand the early game experience a bit uh, to include something other than collecting resources because honestly collecting resources it's nice and it's it's fun to see the buckets fill up but it doesn't it's not enough to do you know you spend a lot of time waiting and I didn't really want to increase the rate of resource acquisition um, because I kind of like where it's at um, there's a lot of room for it to grow and, and, you know, ways for the player to make that faster. Um, so I didn't really want to oversaturate the early game with that. And so I felt like I needed another mechanic. Um, and I've started to home in on this uh, concept that, you know, basically every one of these buttons that unlocks at the top of the screen is going to either be indirectly or directly tied to a ship type. Uh, and the idea being that, you know, anytime you're expanding your idle tasks you're also getting new types of ships that you can manage and and move around uh, so in this case um, I have created this research system and so the research system is going to be uh, something that you'll unlock pretty early on maybe after you get like your fifth mining shuttle or so uh, you'll be able to make a research vessel um, so I'm just gonna spawn it in right now and what's gonna happen is um, you're gonna see my research menu up there unlocked. Now, normally all these other buttons would be unlocked already because the player will have done other tasks um, and I'm just basically cheating in the research vessel. So you can see there's a new ship type here. If I spawn a mining shuttle, just a reminder of what those look like. Um, I'm gonna spawn a couple of these research vessels. I only have enough licenses to spawn four. So I'm gonna select the research vessels as best I can. Uh, and I'm gonna send them to Venus. Now, while they're flying over there, I'm going to look at the research menu. And what you're going to see is it's starting to accumulate these research points, which are really, this is research data. And then this icon to the right is the research points. And so every time this bar fills up, the player is going to get a research point in the category of uh, resources, research that's being conducted. And what's happening here is these research ships are producing a certain amount of research data based on a uh, fairly complex formula that is based on the composition of the planet, whether it's a gassy planet or a, a metal heavy planet or a mixture of both. Um, and there's also some subtle mechanics in that if you have, uh, say, miners operating on a metal heavy world, then the amount of mineral research that's going to be generated by these ships will increase uh, due to the data they're getting from all the mining activity. Um, they'll also generate engineering data from witnessing other ships perform their tasks. And so there's there's going to be some like, interesting math behind all this stuff that should, I think, interest the more you know, deeply invested player um, that really cares about all that stuff. Um, and so once you accumulate these points, you'll be able to basically buy levels uh, in these research projects. And so right now I've only got three research projects in here. Uh, and these are basically just test items. Uh, I'm not even sure if, you know, increased ship speed is something that I really want to invest in in the game. I also have an idea that there's going to be a another um, idle mechanic up here that will be related to uh, sort of kitting out your ships in a way. Um, and so some of this stuff that has to do with how fast your ships fly and what their cargo capacity and all that stuff is uh, that may move to the sort of tinkering garage mechanic um aspect of the game but for now i have them in here as as research projects and it could be that they're in both right you know the chem we could say that you know researching chemistry stuff allows you to get better propulsions but you know and maybe also that will unlock some kind of engine type that you can purchase to um upgrade your your ships um, and the other thing is, is that I only have three projects here right now and, you know, I've, I've worked in the UI ability to scroll, nice little kinematic, or not kinematic, um, kinetic, um, scroll feature, which feels really good, I think, uh, fits the UI design nicely. But ultimately, I'd, I would like to get to the point where there's 
probably hun like a hundred or more of these types of projects, maybe even hundreds of them. Um, so there's probably going to be some updated UI done here to, to maybe filter it by type of resource used or uh, applying you know, additional tabs for like categories, you know, ship upgrades, um, you know, mining, stuff like that. Um, so this is the feature that was, was built this week. Um, there's this vessels tab here. doesn't do anything yet. Uh, what this is going to be is it's going to, you know, I described some of that complex math. I think right now that's just basically hidden from the player. They could only figure that out by being, you know, very obsessed with it and working the math out themselves. I want to make that a little more discoverable. And so probably there'll be a, an early research project where if, if you get, you know, one chemical and one mineral research, you'll be able to unlock the vessels tab. And the vessels tab is basically just going to show you um, the activity of all of your research vessels so that you can see, you know, oh, there's four vessels in orbit around Venus generating 380 um, chemical research data per second and 28 mineral research data per second. Um, and I think that will help the players kind of understand what's going on, particularly when they have a lot of these ships uh, and these numbers are just going up and it's really not clear to them why they're happening and what, and, you know, what the rates are and all that good stuff. Um, there's also some math here for diminishing returns. So if you stack a lot of these vessels around one planet, you're going to get overall less efficiency out of each one uh, because they sort of are doing the same work. And so there's overlapping. That's uh, the idea there. Um, but yeah, so that's the main update from this week. Uh, I'm going to be spending the next week or so hashing this feature out a little bit, maybe building more of these research projects, making them actually work inside of the game and have an impact on the gameplay. Um, and uh, a lot of UI cleanup stuff I'd like to do. Uh, and I would also like to start looking into perhaps a third ship type and start hashing out this idea of, you know, being able to upgrade ship modules and, uh, uh, and, and that stuff. And then I really need to get my arms around this indicator in the top right, which is your money. Um, I have a concept of credits in the game, but currently you can't spend credits. You can't make credits. It's just a number. Um, and it's kind of this orphaned vestigial thing from when I first started working on the project and said, oh, it's an idle game. So probably need money at some point, uh, added it to the game, never did anything with it. So I need to decide if it's going to stick around, uh, or if I'm going to, uh, use it in some way. My general feeling is that I would like to have some kind of market system um, where these resources that are being mined can be converted into various product types, which you can then liquidate into credits. Uh, my main question that I can't seem to answer is just what do I want the player to be able to do with those credits? Um, do I want them to be able to buy, you know, ship upgrades or, or what? You know, I feel that money in itself is just a single scalar value that can be kind of boring. So uh, I don't want to invest too heavily in it, but I also think that it would be an interesting number that the player would care about. So um, with all that being said, uh, I think that's it for my update this week, and um, hopefully I will have an update for you next week.